Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I'm back with another review. And today we're taking a look at from the uh, continuing our look at the Rise of the Beast toy line. This is Beast Mode Optimus Prime. This is another figure. I do believe it is part of the Beast Alliance subline. That is a uh, one of those giant noise makers. Now here's a funny thing though. This version I actually got from Amazon Japan just because um, I had not seen. Uh, I really had not been cited as heavily in the United States. It is not up anywhere that I can find on Amazon US or other online retailers. So I didn't want to miss out on it since I think it's a cool looking vehicle. With that being said, you know, as I've said before, besides the uh, few stickers to change some of the language to Japanese, this is the same American product, which means we've got Peter Cullen's voice in this uh, toy, which I think is kind of cool. Also, uh, clearly, as you can tell, this is based on an early concept that was actually confirmed at San Diego Comic-Con that these mainline toys were based on early concept sketches that, and when they got revised, it was too late for them to change. That's why this figure, as well as the Battle Changer Optimus Prime, bear a strong resemblance to the Transformers Prime uh, Beast Hunters uh, Optimus Prime with that, you know, that whole military style truck, which is kind of cool when you think about it, that it's a, we're, do, we're doing a beast motif in this movie. Um, other than that, and it's funny, they also went on to mention that the studio series were supposed to be the final designs, but they went on and modify those, and that's why Optimus, the, the studio series Optimus Primal is going to have an open faceplate. So there's that. But very nice truck. Um, again, much like that Beast Hunter's design, you have two fake wheels here on the side, so this is really only rolling on four wheels, one at the front, one at the rear, on each side. Um there are lights and sounds, which you can activate by pressing on the button right here in what would be the bumper. I think. Uh, oh, right above that little uh, tech designed area. You can see some of the blue lights coming through. Let me dim the lights a little here so we can get a better look. There we go. And those are all really just for vehicle mode. Other than that, you do have a sword here that can peg into the side. Very nice design. Although I'm a little confused as to which way it's supposed to go. The instructions and the pictures show the yellow part facing forward. But that has the peg facing outward. I traditionally like to have the pegs facing inward towards the body of a robot, which would put this clear piece with the longer pointed tip facing outward. Um, I'm trying to think, because this does look like Optimus Prime's traditional movie sword. I'm trying to think which way it would go. can't remember off the top of my head. But other than that, um, I think that's about it for vehicle mode. So we will pause and we will come back for the transformation. All right, I had to open this up a little, so please forgive the bare size of the light box and the little openings there. Just in case you guys have ever wondered, whenever you've seen Delilah's paws in a video, yeah, they're popping in through there. But transformation is fairly simple. Um, I want to say I did notice that maybe there was some slight warpage with some of the plastic because it is very thin and soft. But that could just be mine. First thing you want to do is unpeg these uh, fins here and just bring them forward and... Basically, they're just going to, you can maybe sit them like that, but they're, they're going to flop around. Let me just tell you that right now. Second step is you want to come into the front here, open up these panels here, and then continue to open up the whole sides here that peg in and bring it back just like so. Oh, and there you got a little transformation sound because I accidentally hit the button. Um... Next, what you want to do is unpeg these back panels here, fold them up, peg them into place. These are part of the arms. And then what you want to do is bring the arm out to the side, just like so. And then on the ball joints there, 
or you just bring them straight up. This will help keep them out of the way. And you, you're really now, uh, this is where it gets a little comp, a little tricky because the instructions aren't clear. What you want to do is fold the legs out just like so, and that will snap them into place. Next, what you want to do, and this is something not shown in the instructions, the legs peg together. So you want to untab them just like that. Now, with that being said, the next step you want to do is grab the side panels here and just flip them inward. That will actually fill in the gaps quite nicely in the back of the leg. You're then going to flip this whole section up. That gray part is going to fit into the gap there on the inside of the leg. Um, close the panel up. There's a tab and slot that will hold it together. And then... Uh, Yeah, did I get that? Yeah. And then uh, what we can do then is, oh, you want to fold that that panel up first and then get it closed. Do it again on. Oh, you got here Optimus talking there. So, oh, rotate that up, bring it around, and then that will just close into place just like so. And those panels will just hold off the back. Next, what you want to do. And the legs have naturally started to come down. Um, there's a hole and a slot. The legs are going to snap into place. And this is actually kind of important because this is how you activate the transformation unit. So you have that part done. Got the legs standing up. Finally, to uh, finish this off, bring the arms down. And... Keep hitting the button to uh, trigger the sounds. Flip the wings down and back, and that will actually trigger Optimus's head to swing forward. The arms do just hang rather, excuse me, the, the wings hang rather loosely. But here you have Optimus Prime in its basic robot mode. And let's see if I, I come in like that. All right, that's a. You know, a little bit better, but most of the action is going to be up here in the torso. So let's now press the button and see what sounds we get. Dim lights. Dim the lights. You can see you get slashing sounds, red light, blue light. And there you have uh, most of the sounds. Now, to trigger the uh, action, much like with Beast Mode Bumblebee, you're going to squeeze the legs together, and that will just unlock everything. And there, besides that transformation sound, we now had a roaring line. We press the button. You have some new voice sounds. And of course, you can have Optimus hold his sword. There's, there's really the only articulation is going to be from the shoulders and the elbows here. Although Optimus's head is on a swivel. So that is kind of nice. You get a little expression there. But um, I do actually really like this look. Oh, I almost forgot. Open the forearms. There are claws, like with Bumblebee. So just flip those out. So you can, you know, really have more of a, the beast look going there. Uh, but like I was going to say, I like this look. It's clearly meant to homage... Um, Leo Prime, and which I think is kind of cool since we do have that beast armor figure coming. That's also it's Optimus and a white lion, so that's definitely a Leo Prime homage. But also with the lion's head here, you get a little bit of the Brave series going on. 
you know, so, some of you remember that post Transformers series. So that's really kind of cool in its own right. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it's a fun robot mode. What I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to pause and I'm going to show you how to bring the figure back uh, to vehicle mode. Okay, I went ahead and removed the sword and brought Optimus back to a neutral pose. First thing you want to do is put the claws away. Let's open up those panels there. They'll fold in and it'll snap into place. Okay, just like that. The second thing you want to do is with one hand, you're going to squeeze the legs. That will open everything up. That will allow you to close the chest and flip up the panel there, hiding the lion head. And then finally, what you're going to do, you're going to turn the figure around. You're going to bring the wings back on this hinge, and they're going to snap into place right there. But, and like before, the rest of the part of the wing will just flop around. So there's that. So now that we have that Optimus back into his normal mode, uh, the first step that they actually have you do in the instructions is bring the wings forward like this and just hang there. Next, what you want to do, and you might want to do this before you bring the wings forward, is flip the head back and have it snap into place. Next, rotate the arm straight up, just like so. And that's about it for the, what we're going to do with the torso right now. Next, what you want to do is come into the legs here and separate uh, from that hip joint right there, like when we were going to robot mode. And that will just bring it back like so. And now it's just a case of just undoing everything we did. Um, bring these panels out to the side. Rotate them down. Those gray sections down just like that. Whip out these black panels. Just like so. Uh, and this is the point where I would recommend then uh, pegging the legs together. They just slide in just like that. And then going ahead and unpegging the knees. Hmm. You actually might want to unpeg the knees first since they do clip in rather tightly. They can unpeg the, uh, the legs from each other. And then just rotate this section down and around. Have that in position. Uh, next, you want to bring this side panel around. There's a tab here slot on the inside and this is where i was saying that it felt like uh there might have been some warpage because it just didn't feel like uh the the the, the pegs were coming into were foot were pulling in easily i feel like i'm bending the plastic but as you're pegging them in you can then just rotate it around the front there and then you got that done Next, what you want to do, bring the arms down to the side, fold them back, and open up this panel just so that you have a little vision. There's a little hook right there that's going to hook into the inside of the arm. And that, in turn, as you do that, you're going to peg that panel in to the back part of the leg, just like so. Move the wing out of the way again. And let's do this again on this side, just like that, just like that. And actually went in a little bit easier. Huh, that's the easiest that's done in for me. So you have that. And then finally, to finish the transformation, there are pads on the back of the forearm that the wings will just peg into, squeeze them down. There you go. And often it's prime is back in its truck mode. And oh, let's just make sure that everything is somewhat great. Uh, ooh, hey, it can, it can almost stand up like that. Peg the sword into the side. You might want to come in from the rear, give it a little extra support, just so you don't dislodge a panel. But there you go. That's Optimus back in its truck mode. 
And like I said, as someone who is a fan of the Beast Hunters version of Prime, I really do like that vehicle. But how about we pause and we'll come back with my final thoughts. There's really not much more to say about Beast Mode Optimus Prime. Um, I enjoyed the vehicle mode. I'm oh, bringing the lights back up for you. <laughs> I had them actually rather dim, but it still looked good. But it, it, it's a gimmick toy. There's the lights, there's the sounds. Obviously, didn't look like this in the movie. Didn't look, there, were, there was no beast interactivity like that. This was strictly just the toy to fill up the space. Um, it's interesting. Unfortunately, uh, as I heard when I was starting to film this, um, Rise of the Beasts has actually fallen out of the top 10 of the movie charts. So, at least domestically, um, the movie did not do well. It's a flop. Now, it's not the worst performing Transformers film domestically, but unfortunately it is internationally. And even though um, the movie has not yet opened in Japan, it would have to make $40 million dollars to be considered a hit and uh, at most the films have ever made is seven million dollars in japan so even with all the hysteria about getting the original japanese beast wars actors i don't think that's going to save um rise of the beast which is a shame because even though i haven't seen it yet it does seem like a fun film and i am looking forward to seeing it uh, at some point, and in fact, it might even be the first film that I buy from the franchise. Many of you know I'm not a really a big fan of the film franchise, but you know, I, I do enjoy the toys. And it's a shame because after this, really, all we have to look at, the least I know, is going to be released, is that uh, Weaponizer Air Razor. The you know the it's it's the Air Razor that turns into like a crossbow or something. Um, uh, Beast of the, the uh, Weaponizer 2 pack of RC and Cheetor, and then the Beast Combiner of uh, Optimus Prime and Steel Will or something, the, the White Lion is called. But other than that, that's going to be it, at least for as far as I know. Oh, and I almost forgot there is that Battle Changer of Scourge that has, uh, that's supposed to be coming at some point. Um, Hopefully those figures are able to be found at retail, but my gut kind of tells me that going forward, your best bet is to start looking at um, the discount stores because I think stores are just going to look to push that stock off. So take it what you will. But a figure like uh, Beast Mode Optimus Prime, it's a fun toy, uh, has some cool features. I dig the lights and sounds. And believe it or not, you know, tomorrow's August. What is it, like four or five, uh, four months till Christmas? This would make a great, I think uh, a lot of kids would enjoy finding that on Christmas morning. So that's about it for the review. If you like this review, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. While I will always appreciate the views, your likes, comments, and subscriptions help to communicate to YouTube through their algorithms that my channel should be exalted and held upon high. If you want to make the ultimate sign of support, I do have a Patreon. It's www.patreon.com slash chuckdog1999. Card in the corner here, link in the description below. Uh, dollar a month, $12 a year, you know the spiel. If you can't swing it, that's totally all right. Um, your views are more than thanks enough. And I really do mean that. Patreon is just a cherry on top of an already generous Sunday. So that's about it. Once again, I'm your old pal Chuck for Beast Mode Optimus Prime. We will see you next time.